Hey guys and welcome back to my Java video tutorials. My name is Mike and today we're gonna be uh, doing the application we did last time but with a graphical user interface. First off, let's test out our last application again so we see how it works, okay? We have to specify a sentence to it, so Mike loves you too. Okay, and our program will say your sentence is Mike loves YouTube and your sentence has three words so it counts the words we have in our sentence. Good. Now we want to do the same thing but with a graphical user interface with some buttons and some text fields. Okay. To do this let's start off by making another class and let's call it count words in window. Okay, finish. Now, for this application to have a graphical user interface, we need our class to extend the JFrame in the JFrame class. What the JFrame class contains are all our graphical uh, uh, things like buttons, labels, and text fields. Okay, so let's extend. J frame good now we have to import no my bad J frame now we have to import J frame good and also we need our application to do certain stuff when we click buttons to do this we need our class to implement the action listener interface so implements action listener good and we have to import action listener good and also we have to add some unimplemented methods from our interface this unimplemented method called action perform this method will contain all the stuff that will happen in our application so practically all the stuff our application needs to do when we click and do certain stuff good so we extended the JFrame so we can create our graphical interface and also we implemented our action listener so we can make our application do certain stuff when we need it to do okay good now our application will have a text field and two buttons one to count all the words in the sentence we give in the text button in the text field and want to clear our text field okay so let's declare these things so first the text field j text field let's call it sentence equals new j text field and it should be 30 characters long okay now we have to implement import sorry the j text field and we're good. Now let's also declare two buttons. So J button. First one let let's name it count equals new J button, and it should have on it the word count, and another J button called clear equals new J button, and this one will have clear on it okay also we have to import the j button okay now we're good next let's create a constructor for the count, in, count words in window class so every time we create a new object of count words in window class this stuff will be done so public count words in window okay now what will we do over here first off let's name our application in the status bar so we do this by calling the constructor from the JFrame this is something like this use the word super and over here let's give it a title so count words in window okay 
Now what this function does, it is called the constructor from the JFrame that will give our application the name count words in window in the status bar, just like here in Eclipse. Ok, good. Now for our application, let's set a size for it. So set size 300 with... Ok, good. Now also our, our application will not close if we press the X button. So let's uh, do something about that. So let's add set default close operation to jframe dot exit unclose. So what this line practically does is let us close the, app the application when we press the X button. Okay, good. Let's save it. Also, let's create over here a label, so J label, which we will call result equals new J label. Because this label will contain the result of our word counting. Okay, so let's import J label. Good. And over here in our constructor, let's create another J label. Let's call it message. And this J label will contain a message to give to the user. So please enter your sentence. Okay, good. Now we need to create a panel where all these uh, uh, buttons and labels and text fields should be. So let's create a new J panel. Let's call it panel. Ok, let's import jpanel. Now we need to add all these elements to our panel. So how we do this, do this is very simple. We just write panel dot add and our component. First we should add our message to be above all. Now let's add our text field so we named it sen sentence ok now let's add our buttons so first let's add the count button now the clear button and last off our result Ok, good. Now all we need to do is add this panel to our application. So add panel and we have to, make, to set it visible. So set visible to true. Ok, let's save this. Ok, so now all we need is to create our main function. So public static void main and over here we have to create a new count words in window object so new count words in window so we created a new object let's save this and let's run and see what happens ok so as we can see this is our application like I said it will we use the super function and as we can see we have a name over here. This is our label, our text field and our buttons. Let's write something. So Mike loves YouTube. As we can see we have to resize it to get the whole text field. That means we should resize the application over here in set size. So let's close it. And let's give it 350. OK. Save it again. Run it again. And yeah, now it works like it should. Mike loves YouTube. Good. Now let's press some buttons. And as we can see, nothing happens. This is because we did the graphical interface, but we didn't do the action perform methods. 
so practically we didn't make these buttons do something we just put them on the screen so let's close our application and do something about that so to make our buttons do what we want we need to add some action listeners to them we can do that like this so count not add action listener and here we will say this what this means is that our count button is part of this class so it's part of count words in window class okay now let's add another one to our clear button so clear dot add action listener this so the clear button from this class okay now this is not enough we add some action listeners to these but we also have to modify this action perform method right here over here all the good stuff will happen so first uh, let's rename this to E okay let's save it and let's start so this action perform method here so this action perform method here is where all the stuff happens here we have to test first off if we press the count button or the clear button so to do this we do like this if count equals equals e so our action event dot get source what this means is that the source of the action happening right now is from count so aka what happens right now is that you press this button okay good so if we press this button what we need to happen so first we have to create our string tokenizer again so string tokenizer t and we have to give it a string now last time we gave it the string sentence okay but in this case sentence is not actually a string it is a jtex field so we don't need the jtex field we need only the string in it okay so to do this we write sentence dot get text okay and this will give it the string we have in the text field good now we need to declare our counter integer counter which will be equal to t dot count tokens okay so we'll count all the words and we have to return this counter but we don't have to return it like last time the classic way we have to return it in our label which is here our label result right which we declared over here so this label result should have the counter value so now that we declared our counter we have to return it but we don't have to return it the classic way like we did over here we have to return it in our label result which we declared over here okay so to do this we write like this result dot set text okay and over here we will write our string so your sentence has plus counter plus words okay so if we press the count button over here we will create a new string tokenizer which will get the text from our sentence so from our text field then we create our counter which will count the number of tokens aka the number of words from our text and then as a result in the result label we set the text to your sentence has plus counter plus words okay good now else if if our clear button is the source, so clear equals equals e dot get source. Okay, 
So if we press the clear button, what we want to do? We want our text field to clear out all the text. So sentence dot set text to nothing. Okay. And also, in case we already run it once or twice, we will probably have a result in our result label. Okay, so in this case, we have to do the same to it. So, result dot set text. Okay. Now it's pretty much all done. So, Let's run it and see if it works like it should. So, please enter your sentence. I like you. Okay, let's count. Your sentence has three words. Okay, that's good. Let's clear. Good. Everything seems to work. Let's close the application. And this is pretty much all for this application. Okay guys, so this is all for this video. Next time I will explain to you what's up with this yellow marker over here. And also I will uh, show you a little bug I found in these two applications and how to fix it. Also for the graphical user interface I will show you another bug and something I don't like about it. And I will also fix that in my next video. So be sure to check it out and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And in case you want other applications to be done, just uh, leave me a message and I'll make sure to make it as soon as possible. So that's all. Until next time, take care and keep on programming.